What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the channel. This is the RTH Podcast, man. I'm your host, nephew. And I'm checking in, man. Now, um, it's been a little bit of, of talks uh, in the boxing community, bro. That's basically saying we really want to see this fight, bro. In so many words, right? What would happen? What if, right? What if Terrence Crawford went up to 168 and tried his luck with the face of boxing now we know that Errol Spence Jr. is more than likely going to get this rematch we know that Jamel Charlo is going to see Canelo Alvarez if all goes well right if all goes 100% perfect you would see Canelo Alvarez beat Jamel Charlo you will see Errol Spence lose to Terrence Crawford again and then both of these gentlemen bro would be free they would be free to negotiate now, I happen to believe that the PBC will stand in the way. That's just my opinion, y'all. Y'all can take that with a grain of salt. I don't think the PBC like Terrence Crawford. I don't, bro. So it is what it is, bro. They was willing to offer Canelo Alvarez $100 million to see Jamal Charlo and David Benavidez when Terrence Crawford was asking for $20 million to see Errol Spence. That was the word on the street. Terrence only wanted 20 million to see Errol Spence, and they offered Canelo Alvarez a hundred million to see David Benavidez and Jamal Charlo while telling Terrence Crawford he's not worth 20 million. So I don't think they really care for uh Terrence Crawford too much, right? Now this has been a particular fight in my my mind since uh Terrence said he would go up and see um canelo it's been it's been kind of brewing in my mind a little bit about what would happen bro now you 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 got you got the idea of terence crawford undefeated two-time undisputed going up to see canelo alvarez and losing his o right he'll lose his o if he go in the ring and see canelo alvarez losing his perfect streak that's a very real possibility you have the idea that terence crawford could maybe uh pick his shots really well use his defensive tactics to uh, his advantage and beat Canelo Alvarez on the night, right? You have the possibility that the fight ain't gonna happen at all, right? You have that possibility, but one possibility that never came into my mind when I think about these two gentlemen stepping into the ring is the, the idea that Terrence Crawford could knock out Canelo Alvarez. That would be crazy, right? That's just crazy, but that's crazy talk, right? But there's a Hall of Famer, fam. There's a Hall of Famer who begs to differ man his name is james lights out tony bro if y'all don't know who this dude is bro this is a bad mf of fam and i mean that with all due respect hall of famer and is a two uh uh sport combat fighter bro he's fought in the mma as well as fought in the sport of boxing he's newly inducted into the hall of fame bro and he beat evander holyfield when that dude was not supposed to beat Evander Holyfield, bro. In my opinion, if you want to know how to do the Philly Shell, I know you guys like to watch Floyd Mayweather Jr. because he made it look, uh, 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 I guess, uh, unbreakable. He made it look like it's, it's impossible for you to hit hit uh, hit a person who got that defensive shell up. Although, if you guys aren't paying attention to Floyd Mayweather, you're going to get in some real trouble with that Philly shell. Saying that to say, though, if you really want to know how to use it, that gentleman right there, that Hall of Famer, in my opinion, is the number one guy, bro, to ever hold that defensive shell up. And he, he can possibly be tied with a guy by the name of Joe Frazier. That's just my opinion. Y'all can take it with a grain of salt. I put Floyd Mayweather at number three compared to Joe Frazier and that man right there, bro. James Tony. So here's what James Tony had to say about Canelo Alvarez. And I'm going to get back with my commentary after that. He said it would be huge if that fight happened. I will go back into camp with Crawford and show him how to do it for real. I love Bo Mack. But if he can't help him, I'll make sure... It gets done. That ass would be cooked. Fish fried. Hot ribs. Canelo can't be knocked out. He ain't all that. He's no James Tony. He's not James Tony. He's not in my MF and league. 
he can't hold my bags. Now, this is crazy, bro. Before I even read the rest of this, because it seems like for some strange reason, bro, James Tony don't like Canelo Alvarez. I don't know if this is something that happened behind the scenes and it just hasn't made it to the forefront of the boxing media. Maybe it's a boxing secret. What's going on between these two gentlemen? I don't know, bro. So y'all don't make me lie, fam. But I recall seeing James Tony trying to teach Caleb Plant how to beat Canelo Alvarez. If you guys went back and you go into those archives and you see uh, some of uh, Caleb Plant's training, you will see him working side by side with James Tony. Now, that could have been for the cameras because if you guys go and you look at Caleb Plant, he didn't seem like he really cared to hear nothing that James Tony had to say, bro. And I know you guys could probably, if you know about James, you know he had that mumble to a certain degree that just come from you know being hit in the head a lot in the sport of boxing that's 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 normal right it's it's a it's a combat sport so you know sometimes you lose some of your mobility it is what it is but respecting the hall of fame of somebody who's actually been there bro and, and 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 pretty much listening to what he got to say that's one thing but when you treat him like he a homeless dude who ain't never been to the show that's another thing and if you look at Caleb Plant that's pretty much how he addressed it uh getting that kind of uh lecturing and that kind of uh toolage from a hall of famer which is why i was kind of happy to see him get his ass knocked out by canelo alvarez that's just my opinion i took that as disrespect how he treated james tony maybe that's just who caleb is as a man and maybe i'm wrong for even feeling that way but i was happy to see him get his ass whooped for the way he treated james tony when you could have just really took into advice what he was trying to say and tried to put your best foot forward now i'm not saying that terence crawford would even think about bringing james tony into his camp bro that's just maybe something that he don't want to do but i don't think terence crawford is above learning you can look at him and tell He's a gentleman and he's a professional, bro. The way he treated Errol Spence after that knockout, he didn't have to do that, bro. But he did it anyways. But it's going to show you how good of a G he is. Not to mention, he looking out for all of the youngsters in the game, going into their camps, teaching them the same thing he did for Devin Haney. He do for Shakur Stevenson. And Shakur Stevenson is more so his bro than Devin Haney. So it's going to show you how good Terrence Crawford is as looking out for others. So I don't think that he's above knowledge and learning. Uh, as far as trying to take a couple of hints and advice for um, from James Tony to maybe get a KO of Canelo, that would be crazy, right? That's freaking crazy. Saying that to say though, man, I don't know what they got going on with James Tony and Canelo Alvarez, but I'm with it, bro. He says he fought all uh, guys who were lighter than him, uh, past their primes, all that. You can't compare that MF to me, dog. I fought the best fighters in my prime and their prime which is a fact bruh that is a 100 percent fact we can't take that away from james tony bro. win lose or draw he fought everybody bro. he says man i'm not even going to talk about this mf -er. it pissed me off he ain't ish um if he had the boss i would come out of retirement and we'll meet right now now hold on james i hope you don't do that fam. you can just sit up on the beach kicked up with your feet up looking at beach water bruh and enjoying your cigars and the hall of fame you know um not trying to go and see canelo Alvarez because you ain't got nothing to prove to saul man it is what it is in the aspect but he says i'll f him up for real uh i ain't got no problem with that i'll beat him right now and when speaking on jamel charlo and canelo Alvarez, he says charlo can fight um they both can fight but you know uh what i think charlo is better fighter is is the better fighter i'm sorry uh says canelo can be knocked out he ain't james tony he got i mean sorry he's a good fighter but he's not on my level stop comparing that mf to me because he's no match i will destroy him bro so bringing james tony into terrence but that would be crazy right because technically terrence croft is on the 11 fight knockout streak right now Right, he's on 11 fight knockout street, and the craziest thing about it was they said he couldn't knock out Spence. Right, he couldn't knock Spence out. That was the the claim to fame, and he can't do it, and he got it done. So to add an extra layer, right, to add an extra layer to his defense, because that's really what he would be getting from uh, the likes of James Tony, right? Just more defensive savviness. 
And Crawford does have great defense, but he get clocked sometimes, bro. Um, going down by the mean machine, that might not have should have happened, you know. But Crawford was being stubborn in that stance. I was sitting at the TV like, bro, just switch your stance, bro. He beating you at, at that angle. Just just switch your stance. He finally decided to switch his stand, and he went right back to him. I'm like, oh, man. But he had went down. When he went down, he stayed in it. I guess he was. I guess to him, it was kind of like, oh, okay, well, you think you got me in the stand? I'm about to turn up on you. And he knocked out a uh, main machine. So it's one of those scenarios where, hey, man, Crawford has great defense, great footwork, power in both fists. He could definitely get the job done. It was something I never thought of, though. I never thought that I would think in a million years that Terrence Crawford would knock out Canelo Alvarez. But now it's a part of my mindset. Like It's kind of like one of those things you can't unsee once you've seen it. So now I'm really wondering, bro, if we were to get these two gentlemen in the ring, right, with or without James Tony in the corner, bro, could Terrence Crawford knock out Canelo Alvarez, bro? Like, that would be crazy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to say this before I go, right? The fight fan and me don't think neither one of these dudes can knock each other out, right? I think it's going to the scorecards, and it might be a steal, right? It might be a steal, right? It might go to the scorecards. And then they might say the wrong person won, right? I, 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 y'all know how it goes sometimes. Sometimes the judges get it wrong, and we'll be all on social media, bro, yelling and screaming and mad because they got it wrong type ish, right? But it it would possibly be more more possible, right, that Canelo could knock out Terrence Crawford, excuse me, than Crawford knocking out Canelo, right? But the craziest scenario, bro, is a man on 11 fight knockout spree, bro. Like eleven fights, and I, I don't, I don't recall that gentleman that Canelo has ever seen that can switch hit. And and if you go and look at what James Tony had to say, right, which really stands out to me, um, right here he says he fought all uh, guys who were lighter than him, past their prime, all that. You can't compare that MF to me, dog. I fought the best fighters in my prime in their prime right the only fighter right well i don't know i would say the only fighter that he really fought right that was really in their prime would have been uh dimitri bival right i i cuss come on man lamb smith uh column smith billy joe saunders was pretty much on his way out um, Lamb Smith looks old for however old oh, he he just look old, but he like his time for him to go sit it down. Anyways, Colin Smith is is kind of clumsy. Like Colin Smith remind me of Paul Gasol. If y'all know who Paul Gasol is, uh, play for the Los Angeles Lakers. That's who Colin Smith reminds me of. Um, beating up on Caleb Plant, that was just a smaller guy. If you really want to be honest about, it. but Caleb ain't got no power, bro. Like. He ain't got no real power. Beating up on Gennady Golovkin, he was pretty much past the, the prime. I know I'm, I'm pissing off Canelo fans right now, bro, but if we were to really do the research on these fighters, bro, I mean, is he wrong? Is James wrong right now? No, he's not. And I know to a certain degree we can say, right, well, Terrence Crawford ain't fought nobody either. Well, I mean, we can say that, but if, if you really want to be honest, bro, didn't he beat – uh? Lil Tyson, uh, Lil Mike Tyson, what's his name? Uh, Yorkis Gamboa. He bought, he beat him in his prime. He beat Jeff Horn in his prime. Um, he was trying to get Manny Pacquiao. They wouldn't give it to him. They wouldn't give Pacquiao to him. Um, and, and he goes on and he gets Errol Spence in his prime. And and I just had somebody come to me right now talking about man, he beat a brain damaged Errol Spence. Since when, bruh? Why wasn't Spence brain damage in the fight versus Ugas where he beat the man back in pretty much, man? He broke the man ribs. He busted his eye. I mean, come on, bro. Y'all wasn't saying he was brain damaged when he beat up Ugas. So a year later, a year later, now all of a sudden he brain damaged. Come on, man. We got to stop making excuses for these fighters. They grown men, man. They warriors. They gladiators, man. When you making excuses for a gladiator, when you're making excuses for a warrior, bruh, you be little when how much work they put in, bruh. You be little when that shit. That's why you don't see Errol Spence out here complaining, saying, oh, it was my back. It was my shoulder. I, I can't think straight. It wasn't this. It was that. No, because you know why he want to hold. Look at Lance Smith, all that. He want to hold the idea 
that he is a complete warrior and he just went up against the better man on the night he want to hold that idea that i'm going to do better the next time i see this gentleman he don't want no excuses he don't want nobody holding his hand bro and when y'all doing that kind of stuff man y'all watering down the sport i don't know man this is the rth podcast i'm your host nephew and i'm signing out man terrence crawford by knockout terrence crawford by knockout bro that would be crazy, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video, man. Uh, leave your comments below. I know I'm never going to get chewed out, man. I know I'm going to get a couple of thumbs down and all that. But it's all right because your boy's still going to trap, baby. Again, this is the RTH Podcast. I'm your host, Nephew, and I'm signing out. Y'all take it easy, bruh. Peace. RTH Podcast going live, man, with Brawl Night Champions for members only. Party chat debate for a shot at the Community Board Champion. But remember, it's a fight, so don't get knocked out and lose your place in the ranks. Or if you're just here to be a part of the spectacle, that's cool too. Sign up for the first tier to get front row seats to each event and get exclusive content not seen on YouTube. No my tier, but don't get kicked out. See rule books for more details. Oh yeah, ladies and the legends are included if you want to spectate or go for some gold. Brawl Night Champions, sign up now.